we're going to take a look at how we can incorporate the new civil labeler into our workspace in this video and in particular we're going to be looking at this file this labeler text favorites dimension styles element templates imperial that DG and lib that's delivered uh, with the workspace and there is another file that goes with this it's the civil labeler imperial.xml file and then lastly there is a configuration variable that needs to point to that XML file and that's highlighted here and so you'll see that we've got that set in our startup configuration and so with these two files in place and the configuration variable set let's go ahead and take a look at this file so we'll open that up under the drawing production tab we have access to the civil labeler or the civil labeler manager I'm going to open the manager to have the civil labeler function properly there are three different things that have to be in place besides the XML file that we show and if I just navigate down to one of these the first one that we have to have is access to our text favorites and the text favorites are actually delivered in this file from our examples workspace and so if I open up the text favorite manager you'll see that I have entries in there uh, for different uh, examples okay so and those are going to be including text styles that are delivered with the examples workspace and so if you don't want to use for example the text styles or the fonts or maybe you want to change justifications you you're going to want to modify uh, for each of these text favorites the text settings information on each of these entries so that's one of the things that you would want to take a look at once you have your text favorites uh, the way you want them if we go back to our civil label manager uh, the other thing that you have to think about is the element template and what dimension style is stored with that element template and so if we take a look here we are delivering the element templates directly in this file and so if we navigate down uh, we, under civil labeler we have plan annotation without arrowhead and notice that it has uh, symbology set up and also it has a dimension style associated with this element template one without an arrowhead and one with an arrowhead and so if you want to use your own symbologies and or your own dimension styles which is likely uh, you want to modify these element templates that we deliver in this file if you're going to include this file directly now should you decide uh, to not use the DGN lib that we deliver and you want to do your own you're probably going to have to reselect your text favorite because these text favorite linkages are associated with a specific file and so if you put your text favorites in another file or if you rename the file that we've delivered uh, you may be forced uh, to reselect each of these text favorites and once you do make any changes here on a particular entry uh, you'll want to hit the save icon uh, to update this XML file and so your requirements are the configuration variable the XML file and the DGN lib the DGN lib could be one file or multiple files but ultimately it needs to contain your text favorites your dimension styles and your element templates that you want to use with each of these entries. There's one more important aspect of controlling the symbology of your labels and that is inside of the dimension style properties. So we have this plan annotation with arrowhead and without arrowhead and the symbology within the dimension style it's going to be right here this symbology controls the symbology of the line and the arrowhead not the text or the frame or the line separator within the label that's all controlled by the settings within the element template but in terms of the leader and the arrowhead that symbology is controlled in your dimension style that you're using and in particular under the advanced general placement level symbology uh, this is where you would set your level and uh, what you want to use uh, for that and then so just be aware that you know the line work and the arrowhead are controlled 
in the advanced properties of the dimension style. And that's going to be effective starting in the 2021 R2 release. In the 2021 R1 release, the dimension leader and arrowhead are controlled by the active symbology of microstation. And so this has been added to the 2021 R2 release.